This is a simple dinner recipe. It is as simple as it can be. Who wouldn't like to have dinner in 30 minutes? Great. I'm making a quinoa dish, a quinoa veg and beef dish. It is as simple as it sounds. Quinoa, vegetable and beef. That is it. Nothing too dramatic about this. Anybody can do this and it's very simple and it is very healthy. You're going to have simple ingredients, your beef and your beef stock. You're going to have chopped peppers, sweet chopped peppers and, and bell peppers. You're going to have scallions and you're going to have green onions. And on top of that, we're going to add cabbage and some spinach. You can substitute some of the vegetables to ones that you like because the primary things that you need are you need in this dish are as follows the beef and the beef stock and also the quinoa those are the primary things but the rest of the other add-ons like garlic you can add garlic to this which i will do also and the oil i'm going to use is a very simple oil it's a sunflower seed oil not too much of it very little of the sunflower seed oil you can substitute that if you don't like sunflower seeds oil for olive oil or your favorite even just general vegetable oil some people might even just use butter you can use butter and butter is good so i have my skillet on top of the pot on top of the stove sorry and all you have to do is turn it on bring it to a hot to uh, uh, bring up the heat to high so that you can heat up the pot so that your oil can go into it and uh, like i said i have sesame seed oil i hope my focus is good on this you can see the sesame seed oil about two or three tablespoons in there. I'll say about a tablespoon and a half. And um, I know I have some water in there. I don't mind about water because I'm going to throw my shallots in there as soon as I have them ready. So I already have my shallots. I'm not going to heat this up. I have my shallots. The reason why I'm putting the shallots is because I have some water already in the pot. The pot wasn't as hot as I wanted it to, but it is fine. Use your cooking spoon. Now you're going to use your spoon and stir. All you're basically doing is bringing this sh your shallots or your onions. I use red onions. You just want to bring it to um, a, a point where it starts to look as, as if it's caramel in the pot. Try to keep your heat at medium or medium high. You don't want to have it too hot. Basically, all I'm doing it doing now is putting all that is necessary for this dish together. Starting, like I said, with my shallots. Some people, if you want your shallots to cook pretty quick, um, you can actually put some salt in it. What salt does is dehydrates the vegetables, the vegetable, and you put a pinch of salt. Nothing too fancy. It helps dehydrate your vegetable. Remember, do not leave your spoon over heat because it will definitely especially with metal spoons it will get hot and you don't want to grab onto a hot spoon while you're cooking so basically I don't want to overcook that or let it burn after doing so I'm going to add my garlic Notice I'm having about a, a half a cup of garlic. Flavorful. Again, you don't want to overcook the garlic because when garlic is overcooked or in oil, it basically starts to taste better. So you want to get that heat around it, the heat around it a little bit. This is straightforward cooking notice your onions are caramelizing already so at this point let it simmer for a little bit 
I don't leave my pot in one spot. I tend to move it around because sometimes heat heats one. Your heat might heat up just one side of your pot. More than the other. I've already, I'm getting my quinoa ready because all, all, they will all go in soon. I've already pre-cooked my meat, which is beef. Get the best part of the beef you want. Flavorful, but flavor, flavor will help you. And I like colors. I like to have colors in my food. Uh, the more the colors, the better for me. Maybe not for you. The darker the greens and the brighter the reds. So now this has come to a boil. I do not want it to burn. So I'm going to add my sweet peppers. You notice I have my reds and my yellows and my orange. In the same moment I'm going to add a couple of spoons of red peppers. flavor of the garlic and the shallots are divine. Again, you can still a little bit of salt, not too much pinch or two. I'm not a salt eater. One thing I tend to add to my cooking is dry pepper. Dry pepper. I've learned something with pepper. Depends on the point you add it to the food. If you want just the flavor, add it at the, end, the beginning of your cooking. So I'm adding it now, just about three pinch of pepper, maybe four, just for the flavor, not for spice, just for flavor. Sometimes flavor is good; it gives you that sense of what you're making uh, to be an enjoyable. letting this come together so at this point we're going to add like I said before we add our quinoa and add our beef just for you to know I pre-cooked my beef prior to this moment so that I have it ready so you're just gonna see me drop some shard beef well done I cooked beef well done. I don't like beef to be half cooked or like they say rare or medium rare. I like well done beef. Again try to eat at moderation. Moderation is good. So this looks like a stir fry but it's really not a stir fry. I'm not stir frying. I'm actually making a vegetable. Added some beef in there. I'm going to add the beef stock soon because all of this, as soon as I add the the quinoa, I'll need to add water and then let everything cook together. So that's my beef in there. This aside. So now. Those of you who like eating healthy, this is a way to eat healthy. I'm not making stir fry. I'm going to bring this to a ball, you'll see. It takes about 15 minutes for quinoa to properly cook. I added the beef now because I want every all the flavors to come together. I want the fusion of flavor. Add the two more ingredients I'm going to add, and we should, it should be everything should be ready. So at this point, since my quinoa is already in there, I'm going to add my beef stock. Basically, my beef stock is from the beef that I am using today. I didn't buy this on the market. A simple beef stock. Even my calls it Mirano. And it makes everything up together. As your mixture is set. Add some more of that beef stock. If you notice, I'm not 
overpowering the pot or the food, the ingredients with the fluid. They're not overpowering themselves. Now you being overpowered. Cover everything up, reduce your heat to medium low, and let it simmer. So it's going to simmer for about 15 minutes, and then we're going to add the final ingredients and serve. So now, if you notice, it's come to a boil, and everything is nice and dancing in the pot. Quinoa f smells really good. I'm telling you, if you, I know you're watching this, but this smells really, really good. Two more ingredients we're going to add. Again, everything is prepared, prepared before, prepared before. A couple of more ingredients we're going to add. We're going to add our cabbage. Again, my cabbage is steamed, either steamed or sautéed. You saute your cabbage or you steam it. I'm going to add the cabbage now. Saute it in another pan. This is one of the final ingredients we're going to add. Put, put a little bit of salt on it when you saute it. Okay. And last but not the least, we're going to add just about a cup of spinach. About a cup of spinach. Again, chopped or julienne spinach. So you mix everything up together. Mix it up together. The reason why you still want a little bit of moisture or water in the food is so that these last ingredients can cook well. You don't have to cook them any longer now. It's about five more minutes and you serve this. This is delicious. It looks delicious. Smells delicious. And I know it's going to keep you healthy and strong. So you let this come to a boil or just let it cook for another five minutes. Well, we'll wait for all of those ingredients to come together. Again, this is deliciousness in a pot. Look, it's taking me. I, I may have paused the video for 15 minutes and uh, five more minutes that's 20 minutes and i started 10 minutes prior to all of that and you have about a half hour to make yourself a good dinner it does not take long it's just you have to prep prepare when you prepare you don't have to repair when you prepare you don't have to do extra stuff because all of the planning and the coming together of your healthy quinoa dish starts from preparation and preparation is key for everything that you do in life. For you to stay healthy, you have to exercise. In order for you to exercise and eat healthy, you have to prepare yourself and prepare things. Uh, uh, stretch yourself for exercise. Um, stretch yourself before you get to start running. All those things come together. So this recipe is one of those recipes that will keep you healthy and strong as you keep on this journey of living well. Uh, the Bible says, I pray, I wish that you prosper even as your soul prospers. Your soul is healthy and strong. So you want your soul to live in a healthy and a strong body. So it's about five minutes. If you look about five minutes, going, getting close to five minutes, I just want to stir a little bit more. Again, medium, medium low, not high, medium low. All you're doing is bringing everything together bringing everything together and last but not the least last but not the least green shallots you use your green shallots you put your green shallots flavorful that's all that you need you don't sometimes these ingredients all you have to do is just bring them in, into heat and their their flavor just pops pops and enjoy a good dinner so we'll leave that for about another two minutes. Sorry, I dropped my spoon. We'll leave that for about another couple of minutes and you're good to go. Pick up your spoon, rinse it off, bring it back, bring it next to your pot. Another 15 to 5 minutes or, two, or so, 2 to 5 minutes, and dinner is served. served. So thank you so much for watching. 
if you want a taste of this send me an email and I would let you know in detail how it tastes by sending you the recipe God bless you and thank you for watching